All right, I think we're on to video number four here for the practice exam. Let's take a look at some inequalities. Problem number 26. What is the inequality equation for the circle? Okay, so we're just doing the circle right now. Let's go find the middle of it. I'm going to put a dot right there. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. X minus six squared. Don't forget that plus. One, two, three, four up. Up is also the opposite for a circle. We need an inequality here, but let's go do the radius. The radius is three, so this is going to be a nine. Oops. So some of you have started to recognize shortcuts for a circle, that when it's shaded inside the circle, it is less than, which is true. And since it's a dotted line, we want the less than, not the equals to. Uh, but a safe thing to do is maybe to grab a coordinate point that's shaded. Let's say we grab this one right here, because that coordinate point we could use throughout this problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So eight comma four has to make the equation true. I can put eight here. I could put four here and make sure that I get an answer that's less than nine just to make sure that my symbol is facing the correct direction, which you should do. But it does, so I'm going to trust it and move on here. Uh, if I were doing the answers down below, I can see the column of circles here. Uh, both are negative, and it's less than 9, so it looks like CD. Huh? CD, yes, CD is where that answer is. All right, the parabola, you can see right there, here's the, the vertex of that parabola. So let's head to Y blank. We're going to insert an inequality there. Uh, let's leave ourselves some room for the A value. It's 2 to the right, so x minus 2 squared. It's up 5. Up 5. The A value, down 1, left 3, is going to be negative 1 ninth. And I can tell that this shading is on top of the parabola. See how it's, it's above it? And above it means greater than it. So I know that this is greater than or equal to just by looks. What should you do? Take the 8, 4, insert it for x and y, and determine which symbol uh, it should be facing based on plugging in a coordinate point. But I'm cheating. All right, y is greater than negative 1 ninth. That one's close. Must be over here. y is greater than... Negative one ninth over here. Oh, there it is. Took me a while. A C D E. A C D E. A C D E. What's the inequality of the cubic? And the cubic is this guy here. Here is the locator point. So let's head to a Y. Leave that blank for a second. Leave the A blank for a second. Two to the left x plus 2 cubed, up 5, and the a value is up 1, left 3 cubed. So that looks like a negative 1 27s. Now, this shading, see how it's on the right side of the cubic? So imagine the entire right side was shaded right now, and I would be shading right here. And once I start shading right here, I start to realize, oh, shading right here is above this graph. So that even though the shading's out here, this entire side would have been shaded, and that's actually being shaded above this cubic graph. Okay, so that's the greater than. Above is greater than or equal to. You can always take the 8, 4 and insert it for x and y and then figure out which direction that should be facing. All right, let's see if we can find that guy. Negative 127s, y is greater than, looks like it's there. B, C, E. B, C, E. All right, 2 to the x. Let's go find the first pretty corner. Here's the first pretty corner right there. First pretty corner, y blank. 2 to the 4 to the right is x minus 4. Then I would be down 4, remembering that that dot used to be here. And here's the shading. And the shading in relationship to this graph 
is on the right side of it. But if I stayed on that same side, this would all be shaded right now, according to that exponential. And since this is all shaded, can you tell if I'm above or below the graph right here? I'm below it. So that would be less than or equal to. And if we go to the first column here, less than or equal to, less than or equal to with a minus 4, both are negative. No, that was close. No, oh, it's right there. It's A. It should have started from the top. A. We're there. All right, we still have some time in our 10-minute window here. Let's turn it over and do a few of these. 30. Uh, let's see, says to plug negative 8 into there. So this is just testing if you remember your complex numbers. Oh, this isn't complex numbers. I totally lied. I thought it was because that's boom, boom. And that is just a 9 plus 16. And 9 plus 16 is 25. And the square root of 25 is just 5. Don't put plus or minus. Don't get creative. That one's just B. Set 31 equal to 25 and solve this. So multiply both sides by 2. That would turn into 50. Subtract 2. 50 is going to turn into 48. Divide by 3. 48 is going to turn into 16. So now I have x squared equals 16. Because that's a squared... We're going to get plus or minus 4, plus or minus 4 right there. 32, 6x cubed minus 3 on top of a 3 is equal to negative 13. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. That's going to get us negative 39. Then we're going to add 3. So I see 6x squared is equal to negative 36. Then you're going to divide both sides by 6, and we get x squared is equal to negative 6. Oh, interesting. And then we square root that, and we get plus or minus i square root of 6. Yeah, I don't think that, that that 6 should have been there. If that 6 wasn't there, then we would have got a nice, pretty uh, eye problem. Um, so this was probably a mistake not intended to happen because I can see even the answer's not there, so that would be a none of these because the square root of 6 is yucky. And none of these even have square root of 6, and that's a negative 6 at that. So that's too bad. 33. Quadratic formula, obviously you can tell by the answers they're going to be quadratic formula, so I'm not even going to try to factor it, although this one is if it factored, um, but I'm not going to get a factor out of those. So let's head to quadratic formula here. X equals minus B plus or minus the radical B squared minus 4AC, 40. 4 times 1 times 10, that's 4AC, oh, over 2A. 6 plus or minus, that's negative 4. Write that over here. Square root of negative 4 is 2i. Those can all be divided by 2. So 3 plus or minus i, all on top of a 1. Don't write that. That would be silly. We're looking for that guy right there, which is right there, a. And we got time. 34, I'm going to quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus the radical b squared minus 4ac. Minus 4 times 1 times negative 5 is negative 20 all over 2a. So this has nothing to do with the complex numbers because that's positive 24. This is seen if you remember how to simplify square roots. Simplifying square root of 24, 2 and a 12, 2 and a 6, 2 and a 3. So 24 is a 2, a 2, a 2, and a 3. 1, 2 dies, 1, 2 leaves. Those two have to stay. So I get 2 root 6 on top of 2. 
because those two guys multiply back together. These three integers can all be divided by 2, so I get negative 1 plus or minus 1, but I don't need to write that, square root of 6. And the 2 turns into a 1. So here is my answer. Do we spot that anywhere? Right there, B. All right, doing good. Let's go continue the next page on the next video.